One last example for a risk I want to talk to you about is maybe the most complicated because it's certainly the most complex. It is just damage. So just accidental damage happened, something went wrong, someone didn't pay attention, everyone paid attention and just life happened. So this is hard to, to detect, hard to um, completely prepare for because there are so many sources that you cannot be aware of everything. But I think in this case, it's just important to be aware whenever you handle art, whenever you move art, or you move around art, this is when the danger increases. So when you set up an exhibition, when you take down an exhibition, when you pack the artwork, when, um, yeah, whenever you move the art, whenever you handle it in any way, it gets transported. Even if you just take it from wall, one wall to the other, when you set up an exhibition, because you realize actually it's, act it's better to, you know, have it on the other uh, art or on the other wall, this is when the danger increases. This is when you need to be alert, when you need to be aware, when you need to train people to handle art. So not just, yeah, take it down, put it over there, but really train your people, talk to conservators, um, talk to art handlers, have bring them in in the first place if you can, but ideally have your whole um, staff be aware or that can handle art, be aware of what to watch out for, how to, uh, how to do it, how not to do it, to wear gloves, to, you know, um, be aware of different materials, of different very sensitive materials. Um, a painting oil on canvas is different when it comes to what can harm it than uh, a highly polished monochrome um, sculpture, for example. So what are the different materials uh, yeah, threatened by, if you want? How do you handle them? What do you watch out for? Uh, again, monochrome, um, polished, uh, works on paper, well, oil on canvas as well, obviously. So be aware of the materials, be aware of the different artworks and what can harm them. Because then you, you develop a conscious about consciousness about what to watch out for and be sure that whoever uh, you know is is doing the process there's someone who over who has an oversight who uh, knows and, and and watches the process and and watches uh, the people who are handling the art so that they know oh okay no 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 Let's take a step back be careful let's look at it before we handle this artwork that maybe has a very fragile uh, structure that is, uh, you know, using very fragile materials. How do we actually approach this? Let's not just dive in and get this moving, but let's really map out what do we do? What are the different things we need to do? What, where do we touch it? Where do we lift it? What do we need to do? So be aware of the material, be aware of the positioning, uh, of where you want to put it. Cause that is when, once an exhibition is set up, once a display is set up, whether it is, um, you know, an exhibition that's going to be just uh, taken down in, in three months or whether it's your current or your permanent display. Important is then the second thing when people move around the art. So be aware of what happens when it is up, when there are people, when there are visitors. So where do the visitors walk? What's the flow of the exhibit uh, of the um, of the visitors. Where do they go? How do these movements potentially threaten the artwork? Um, so where do I need to rope off um, areas? Where do I need to create barriers so that you can't go too close? Because when you're really, really excited about an artwork, you want to come, come close. If it is something that's very detailed, you want to go closer, you want to see. So sometimes even the best of us, we forget that we shouldn't go that close. Sometimes you're not aware you're, you're going backwards and suddenly something is behind you. So make sure that a visitor doesn't have to think that much because they won't. Uh, they're here to enjoy the art. They're here to enjoy the exhibition, to enjoy your collection. So um, yeah, think for them, map out where you want to guide them and be sure that um, yeah, you also, <laughs> maybe develop a kind of a double brain or double thinking that 
because uh, we've had claims where someone was trying to prevent um, people from not going too close to the artworks, but unconsciously created, uh, well, a, st a stepping stone so that, yes, they weren't getting close too close to that artwork, but then they tripped and fell into the other artwork. Uh, so, you know, be very aware of people moving around your exhibition that are not, um, in the first place, concerned with watching their step, if you want. Also, if you exhibit um, maybe fragile sculpture, where does that need to go? How do you secure it against someone tripping, falling, you know, taking selfies? There are interesting videos about that as well. So it is really important. Think for your visitors and be aware how they move and uh, how you can steer them if you want.